So if you look way up, I think that's Ottawa's first Antron with no TVI. And it's because of that right there. That is 20 feet of RG 50 ohm coax coiled in a six inch coil. And that's a one to one 50 ohm ballon choke. Otherwise known as an ugly ballon if you want to look it up on uh, Google. So again, ground wire. The ball you see in there, that's just a ferrite choke that snaps on your coax. I just added it at the very, very end for extra. Guide wires, there's no ground plane. You could put ground plane wires, lengths of nine feet on there, if you want to change the angle of your takeoff. And a good coax, and as you see, it's not high over the house. No TVI. And I've ran 25, 50 watts through it, just to test it on 10 meters. I am a licensed ham operator. I'm uh, licensed to operate on 10 meters. Uh, 50 watts is totally legal for me. Tunes up nice. And this is what stops all the harmonics coming out of my radio. And this is good for, uh, I don't know, 200 watts. Oh, 250 watts it says. And that is a low pass filter. And that's with that and the choke, these radios don't cause any TVI. So, like I said, 20 feet of coax coiled up in a six inch coil. Don't overlap it. That'll take care of the RF coming back down the coax. And uh, the uh, low pass filter will stop any harmonics coming out of the radio. Uh, if you're not running an amp, hook it directly into the radio. Uh, as close as you can, four inch coax or directly with a, with a jumper. And uh, if you're running an amplifier, run the TVI filter from the amplifier. Run the radio to the amp, put the TVI filter on the amp. All right, hope this helps some people. And this is why I'm taking it down. If you follow these footprints, They come and they stop right under my antenna, pretty much. Like, look at that. Just shy of where they think my camera would pick them up. And this is what I'm sick of. So before I get in trouble with radio, I'll take it down. I can't handle it no more. All right, thanks for watching.